Have you ever gazed at the stars and wondered if we are alone in this vast universe? This simple question has sparked the curiosity of humankind for centuries, leading us down a path of exploration and discovery as we seek to understand our place in the cosmos. From the ancient Greeks who postulated that other worlds could harbor life to the modern scientific community, the concept of extraterrestrial life has captured our collective imagination. We have come a long way since then, and today our search for life beyond Earth is grounded in solid scientific principles. Our understanding of life as we know it is based on the only example we have, life on Earth. We know that life thrives in diverse environments here, from the deepest oceans to the highest mountains, and even in extreme conditions of heat, cold, and radiation. This gives us hope that life, in some form, might exist elsewhere in the universe under similar conditions. Astrobiology, the study of life's potential in the universe, has taken center stage in this quest. This interdisciplinary science combines elements of biology, chemistry, physics, and astronomy to understand the conditions that could support life and where those conditions might exist beyond our home planet. Our search for extraterrestrial life isn't merely a matter of finding aliens. It's about broadening our understanding of life's adaptability and resilience. It's about understanding how life begins, evolves, and survives under various conditions. It's about answering fundamental questions about our existence. Recent scientific advancements have given us new tools to explore these questions. We've discovered exoplanets orbiting in the habitable zones of distant stars. We've sent probes to Mars and beyond to search for signs of past or present life, and we've developed technologies to listen for possible signals from intelligent civilizations. The possibility of extraterrestrial life challenges our understanding of biology, chemistry, and physics pushing us to expand the horizons of our knowledge. It forces us to redefine what we consider as life and intelligence. It prompts us to question our assumptions and to view our world from a new perspective. The answer to this question has led humanity on an exciting quest, seeking life beyond our home planet. In 1961, a radio astronomer named Frank Drake proposed an equation to estimate the number of communicating civilizations in our galaxy. This equation, now famously known as the Drake Equation, is a scientific tool that breaks down the enormity of the universe into manageable chunks of understanding. It considers factors like the rate of star formation, the fraction of those stars that have planetary systems, the number of planets that could potentially support life, the fraction that could develop life, the fraction that could develop intelligent life, the longevity of such civilizations, and more. The Drake Equation is not a crystal ball. It doesn't give us a clear-cut number of civilizations out there, but it does something arguably more valuable. It guides our understanding and informs our search. While the Drake Equation doesn't provide a definite answer, it provides a framework for understanding the factors involved in the search for intelligent life. Our search for life begins with finding places where life as we know it could survive. These places exist within what scientists call the habitable zone, or the Goldilocks zone, around stars. This is the area around a star where it's not too hot, not too cold, but just right for liquid water to exist on the surface of a planet, a key ingredient for life as we know it. Now imagine the immensity of the universe, the billions of galaxies, each one teeming with countless stars. Around these stars, there's a high chance of planets existing many of which could potentially be in their star's habitable zone. These planets are what we call exoplanets. In recent years, astronomers have made exciting strides in the discovery of these exoplanets, thanks to advanced telescopes like the Kepler Space Telescope and the Transiting Exoplanet Survey Satellite, or TESS. These planet hunters have helped us find over 4,000 exoplanets to date. Among these, some have risen to particular prominence, such as Proxima Centauri b, the closest known exoplanet to our solar system, located just over four light years away. This rocky, Earth-sized planet orbits within the habitable zone of its star, Proxima Centauri, making it a tantalizing subject for further study. Then there's the TRAPPIST-1 system, a veritable treasure trove of potentially habitable worlds. Located about 40 light years away, this system contains seven Earth-sized planets, 
with at least three of them residing comfortably within the star's habitable zone. These exciting discoveries suggest that the conditions necessary for life may be more common than we once thought. But it's important to remember that being in the habitable zone doesn't guarantee that a planet is hospitable to life. It simply means that the conditions could allow for the presence of liquid water on the surface. So, while our search for extraterrestrial life continues, each new discovery brings us one step closer to answering the question, are we alone in the universe? Closer to home, several worlds in our own solar system might harbor life. Mars, with its evidence of ancient water and organic molecules, has been a prime target for our search. The Mars rovers continue to explore its surface, digging deeper into the red planet's secrets with every mission. Moving beyond Mars, the icy moons of Jupiter and Saturn hold promising potential. Beneath the frozen surface of Jupiter's moon Europa and Saturn's moon Enceladus, vast oceans of liquid water are believed to exist, kept warm by the gravitational pull of their parent planets. Could these deep, dark waters be home to life? Missions are being planned to find out. Lastly, there's Saturn's largest moon, Titan. With its thick atmosphere and methane lakes, it's an intriguing world that challenges our Earth-centric view of what life could be. The search for life isn't just about distant stars and galaxies, it's happening right here in our cosmic backyard. But what if there's intelligent life out there trying to contact us? Enter the Search for Extraterrestrial Intelligence, or SETI, an organization that has been listening to the cosmos for over half a century. Their mission? To detect signals from advanced civilizations beyond our solar system. Imagine a cosmic DJ spinning the dial on a giant radio telescope tuning in to the frequencies of the universe. That's essentially what SETI scientists do. They use the reaching for the stars. Because the only thing scarier than knowing there is life out there is the thought that we might be alone. The Fermi Paradox raises more questions than answers, reminding us of how much we have yet to learn about the universe. Despite the odds, we remain undeterred in our search, with new initiatives and missions on the horizon. The quest for extraterrestrial life is more alive than ever, 
powered by a combination of technological advancements and unyielding human curiosity. Take, for instance, the Breakthrough Listen initiative. It's an ambitious project with the goal of scanning one million nearby stars, the entire galactic plane, and a hundred nearby galaxies, all in a quest to detect artificial signals. This project is a testament to our unwavering determination to find life beyond our planet. Another fascinating project is the Breakthrough Starshot. It aims to develop a fleet of light-driven nanocraft that could potentially reach our nearest star system. extraterrestrial life would
signals. The search for extraterrestrial life is also a search for ourselves, a reflection of our desire to understand our place in the universe. It's a journey that challenges us to rethink our assumptions about what life is, where it can exist, and how we recognize it. One thing we can be certain of is that the search will continue to captivate us, to inspire us to look up at the stars and wonder. Whether we find life beyond Earth in the next decade or the next century, one thing is certain, the journey of discovery will continue to inspire us all.